Um, I thought Threads is actually pretty interesting, really nice. It's very positive. It feels like mm -hmm. everyone is trying to be as positive as possible. It seems like that's sort of the culture there. Yeah. And um, I like that it's simple as well. Like it didn't like overwhelm me. So I thought it was a really, it's really smooth too. I would say that like, yeah. I know there are a couple of bugs that people talk about, but I personally haven't ran into them. So I really like it. How about yourself? Yeah, I would say for me, the biggest thing that stuck out so far is the simplicity of it. I love that. I love that I didn't really have to look anything up to figure out how to use it. It was very simple, very easy to get on it, very easy to use. So it's been a pretty good experience so far. Let's see what everyone has to say here. Interesting. Yeah. Erica mentioned that she has zero engagement. I find like maybe yeah. I, f I feel like threads actually increases engagement because right now it's like the organic days. Yeah, I think it's kind of really a shot in the dark at this point. Like, I don't think mm -hmm. the algorithm is totally um, optimized yet. So <laughs> I think you yeah. can either have a lot of engagement or have none. You just got to keep keep trying and see what happens. Um, yeah. yeah. I told Alyssa, it feels like a high school reunion, you know, every, yeah, everyone's from like Instagram coming over and everyone's like trying to figure things out and trying to catch up in that sense. Yeah. Um, it definitely has a fun kind of social media 2010 vibe for sure. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like that's what people are looking for right now. Like they want that simple, just like very authentic and positive atmosphere. So I think it's just going to go up from here with threads. Yeah, I think I agree with Kayleen and Meg. Sometimes it does feel, I guess Kayleen mentioned that it's a bit phony and in Twitter. It does feel like, you know, this is sort of vibe that Zuckerberg's going for. Um, and Meg mentioned that the home feed is pretty boring, which is, I think, people's mm -hmm. like number one wish list is to allow the home feed to be more customizable so that you only see things that may be from people that you're following as well. Yeah. Cool. Um, someone did I have a question if the if there was captions for the webinar. I don't know if we're able to enable that or maybe we could send out a transcript or something afterwards. Yes, I can definitely see if I can find that in the settings here. Yeah, we can check it out uh, perhaps after the webinar and see yeah. if we can set it up. Yeah, we can definitely look into that. Cool. Well, keep um, sharing all your thoughts about threads in the chat. Um, we have a lot to cover today, so going to get right into it. And if this is your first webinar with us, hello, we are Hey Orca. So Hey Orca is a social media scheduler for teams and agencies, and we do weekly webinars. Um, so we're super excited to have everyone that has never been to one of our webinars um, here with us today. Uh, we also have a newsletter. So it goes out every Monday to Friday. And in that newsletter, you will get social news, free resources, training audio, content ideas, the list goes on and on. So if you wanna be a part of that newsletter list, um, you can scan the QR code on the screen, or we can also send the link um, to the newsletter in the chat as well. Um, we are also on social, of course, um, so you can find us on threads, of course, we've been testing that out, but we're also on TikTok and Instagram, and we do have a Facebook group. So our Facebook group, I think we're so, like really, really close to 4,500, and that is one of our goals, um, so definitely check it out. It's the Hayorka community, and um, it's filled with social media managers, and we talk about all things social and trends and everything like that. Joe just put the link to it in our chat. So definitely take a look if you haven't already. And Christine and Rebecca mentioned that she's she, they're fans of your newsletter. Mm -hmm. Alyssa does a lot of it. Um, and uh, kudos to her for all of her hard work. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. <clears throat> and we have some Facebook group fans here as well. So love to see that. Cool. And then um, in all of our newsletters, or newsletters, now I have that on my brain. In all of our webinars, we do like to give things away. So we're going to do two different giveaways today. And the first one is a $15 Amazon gift card. 
So all you have to do to win this is to participate in the chat. So just share your thoughts, ask questions, and then at the very end, we will be doing a random generator for one person to win the gift card. And then the second giveaway, I'll pass it over to Joe for this one because I think he might have something to show. Awesome. Jennifer spent a gift card. Um, I hope you spent it on Prime Day. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for Hey Orca members, we are giving away an exclusive Oscar pin. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right here. Mm -hmm. So Oscar the Orca right here. Uh, we're giving this out and I'll put, I'll put a few more things in the packet as well. So if you're a Hey Orca user, let us know and let us know what your favorite features, uh, what your latest fe uh, favorite feature in Hey Orca is. And I'll take your name and I'll put it into a draw as well. And I'll draw it at the end uh, of, the, of the webinar. And also I know if you can help Steph out, Steph is our director of product. She is currently doing a survey on our community to see what you want us to build for the next qu two quarters. So uh, Steph, if you have your survey link with you, you can put it in the chat. So hopefully you get a couple more surveys. And thanks to all those who have filled out the survey as well. Cool. So yeah, you could win walking, you could walk away today with an Amazon gift card or um, an Oscar pin. So definitely stay to the end for the lucky winner. Oh, sorry. I got to just shout out Roxanne right there. She said, my favorite feature is definitely the reauthorization dashboard. I love that because we worked so hard on it. And sometimes like it just, just, I always say it's the most sexy, unsexy feature. So I really yeah. like that you you said that. Thanks so much. <laughs> Love that. And I did mention earlier, we do have weekly webinars, but we actually do not have one next week because um, all of the pod is meeting in Newfoundland next week. So we're going to be together in real life. So we're going to take that week off of webinars, but you can join us. The week after that, so two weeks from now, we're going to be talking about all of the biggest social media updates and trending audio from July. So I can put the link to that webinar here in the chat. So that's two weeks from now. You can hang out with us again and we can talk about all the trends from July. Awesome. So we will get right into introductions. So my name is Alyssa and I'm a community manager here at Hey Orca. So if you're a part of our newsletter or our webinars, our Facebook group, anything online community that's related to Hey Orca, we may have chatted before, but I can now pass it over to Joe. Hey everyone, I'm Joe. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Hey Orca. I'm always looking forward to Thursday afternoons where I get to spend time with uh, all of our community members. So we're really glad to uh, be here with you guys and learning about threats uh, with uh, each and every one of you. I'll pass it on to Steph. Hey y'all, um, I'm Steph, I'm the director of product. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I think Andrew uh, <laughs> said hey, so hey Andrew. Um, I'm not here in every webinar, but I, I do pop in from time to time. Um, so my role in Hey Orca, I've been with Hey Orca about five years and I talk to a lot of customers in intercom on zoom, trying to figure out how we can help you take back more of your day and then working with our internal team, our product and engineering team, uh, trying to make that happen. So bringing you uh, features like stories, direct publishing and all that great stuff. And I'm just going to use this opportunity to plug the product survey again. So the link is there in the chat while I have uh, your attention. So if you're a Hey Orca customer, definitely fill that out. And that'll actually get you another chance to uh, win an Amazon gift card as well. So um, yeah, two chances to win a, win a gift card today. <laughs> cool. And I think from here, um, speaking of features that we've been working on, we're actually going to kick it off. Uh, with our uh, latest release, which is a threads placeholder. So very of the moment right now. Um, I'm just going to share my screen and show you how that works. If you are a Heroka user, you should be able to follow along. If you have your Heroka app open, uh, it's now in, uh, in your application now, actually. And uh, just a heads up, Steph, Andrew is actually one of the guys that we visited when we went up north to visit OSIM Digital if you remember in oh, yeah. Ontario. <laughs> awesome, yeah. Uh, that was, that was quite a pandemic. while ago now, but yeah, hey, nice to uh, see you here in the webinar, Andrew. Cool. 
So I'm um, just going to share my application here. And yeah, I'm going to take you through the Yorka Threads placeholder. So this is a really fresh one um, for all of us as well. Obviously, Threads only launched last week and it just went live in Hayorka, uh just a few hours ago this morning. So um, basically, this is a Threads placeholder, which will allow you to mock up your threads, uh, collaborate with your team and share it with your clients. So no publishing yet, no API access, but uh, we are working on a solution coming soon uh, for the mobile app. So if you want to add your threads placeholder, you go here uh, to your calendar settings. You can click add a placeholder and you'll see that the threads option is right on top. So uh, you don't have to look too far. Uh, you can add your channel title in here, uh, upload a profile image if you want, and then save that. And I've already added one um, for this account and it's right on top here. So then if I go back to my calendar, uh, I already have a threads post created. So you just go create your post uh, like you normally do. Again, this is a placeholder, so it's not actually uh, going to publish because it's so new. Uh, Meta doesn't have an API available yet, but we are keeping our eyes and ears peeled uh, for that to happen. And we'll definitely jump on that as soon as something becomes available. Um, but you can, however, share this with your client. Uh, you can add your images and you'll see the preview is very similar to Threads, how uh, they have the, um, the carousel post here. Uh, you add your text on top. And I just have a placeholder text here. So what you could do, um, especially where text, uh, Threads is very text-based, you could put uh, kind of your topic in here and then you could actually use our AI captions feature to kind of jazz it up a little bit or maybe think of something a little bit more out of the box to post. Um, so this one's just uh, you know an engaging post for my audience about what inspires them from a, a library account. And I'm gonna use the keyword books. I'm gonna add a tone. Let's try to get people to empathize with me and then generate some options. You could also add more multiple tones or your own tones as well if you want to. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I thought this might be a good idea, you know, for threads, especially where it's so text-based, uh, trying to think of things to say, um, just a good opportunity to maybe try out this new feature as well. Uh, you can add it to your post. And then, um, like I mentioned, it, it won't publish. You can share with your clients, but our team is working on a mobile solution similar to if you're a Hayorka customer or if you've used other apps, uh, you probably know that until recently, Instagram Stories publishing wasn't available. So um, we had a solution where you could send your post to the app for reels as well with trending audio and all that stuff. Uh, so a similar solution we're working on for threads and you can actually uh, send your threads to the mobile app. And yeah, we expect to launch that one really soon. But for now, hopefully the placeholder will help you out with your, with your planning and um, yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah, shout out to our customers too. When threats came up, you guys put it on our radar and we actually met really uh, all hands on deck. Oh, we call it all fins on deck because orcas. And uh, we said we should work on this and the team really rallied together with the pod. So really shout out to both our customers. Thanks for surfacing that. And if you don't know already, you can check out our roadmap at roadmap.heyorka.com and you can see what's planned out. And uh, I love... I love Amber's uh, energy all the time. And she said, update to the mobile, praise freaking be. <laughs> so we are working on the mobile app, Amber. And uh, that's something that we will be revealing in one of our customer exclusive webinars coming up where we will show you our roadmap and some of the designs that you can expect as well. All right. So before I hand it over to Alyssa to go into threads, I do want to take this opportunity to talk about, just show you guys and remind you of a couple of the releases that we've did, we've done over uh, the past couple, uh, past month, actually, just the past month. So let me just share my screen here. So I'm going to take my big, I'm going to take my webinar screen off. Okay, so let me just share my screen here. And the first thing I want to show you is right now in Heyorka, you are able to choose your Reels thumbnail. So I think you guys are seeing a video of Alyssa. 
So this is obviously a reel. So in Heorka, if you want to switch it to a reel story, just go over here to the drop down and click reel. So right now it's a reel. One of the updates that we've done is that you can actually choose a custom thumbnail right now in Heorka. So the three dot icon right here, when you upload a reel, just click edit. And then you'll be able to then switch your thumbnail. It's not a very flattering one. So if this is better, or you can upload your own thumbnail as well. So that's the first update that I want to show you. You click save, and then Heyorka would remember that thumbnail. And then when it posts, it will post on that thumbnail. Okay. And so Heyorka previews exactly what's going to look like, so you know where it's going to cut off and uh, what your ratios look like. The other one that I want to show you is our Instagram uh, stories posting feature. So on Instagram, if you move over to stories, you'll be able to upload a story like this, preview it. And then over here, you have the option to choose notification or direct publishing. So notific notification is really great. If you want to add stickers and whatnot, you can do that uh, for this particular story. But if you want to directly publish, you can click direct publishing and that's gonna go uh, live once uh, it, it gets approved, okay? The next one I want to show you is the Instagram competitors tab. Uh, we've updated the Instagram competitors or the competitor reports for Instagram and Facebook. And right now you can see all of the top posts for not only yourself, but also your competitors. And so I've loaded uh, Buffer's uh, account here so I can see their top posts. Pro tip as well, if you are on Heyorka Pro, you can click on filters and basically expand that list to showing your top nine, top six posts. So let's say if I want to see six posts, I click apply. Now I can see way more than um, than I used to before. And now Heyorka is going to look through my competitor's post and uh, pull up the top six posts. The great thing with Heyorka is that you're able to play the video right here as well. So I don't have to go to the post and see what the video is about. So this is really great to be able to get inspiration or if you're benchmarking yourself against a competitor, this is a really great way to keep track of that. All right, so just a couple of the updates that I feel would be really useful. And the last thing is the folder. So if you go to your library section, so with Heyorka, every calendar comes to your media folder uh, and media library. So you'll be able to drag, drag and drop your media uh, to any folders and organize them that way as well, All right? So I'll pause here. If you guys have any questions, let me know, but we'll get right into threads right now. Over to you, Alyssa. Cool, thank you. Lots of the awesome updates that have come out in the past month. It's crazy. It like feels like so much has come out in like a couple of weeks. So thank you for showing that. And we'll get right into threads. Um, so today we're gonna be going over um, overview of what threads is some key features, the media formats um, supported, privacy and control, and then some tips on how you can get started. And since it's so new, if you have any tips and tricks that you've discovered from the past week, share it in the chat. Um, we're all kind of learning at the same time, so definitely share your experiences and any tips you have. All right, so quick overview. So Threads is Instagram's text-based app. Um, and it kind of came out at the perfect time because everyone was kind of steering away from Twitter, wasn't sure about it, and then now Threads is here and we all love it. So very good timing on Instagram's part. Um, within two hours of releasing, there were 2 million users. And then as of a few days ago, there was 100 million. So that's crazy. That's crazy growth that happened so quickly. Um, with Threads, though, you do need an Instagram uh, profile to have a Threads profile. And users um, are verified via the Instagram app. So Threads and Instagram are very much so connected. So you do need to have Instagram to have Threads. Um, and a little screenshot here, um, Threads puns has gone up <laughs> drastically in trends. So you can see that it's really taking over right now. I'm guilty of using, maybe overusing Threads puns. So That's all right. <laughs> one of those uh, statistics all out right now. there. Get them yeah. all out now. Now's the time. <laughs> 
Perfect. And then one update to note, um, Threads is currently not available in the EU. So um, if you're based in that area, it's not available there yet. But if you want to keep an eye on that, um, make sure to um, you know check up on that, follow Threads, see what's going on, um, and you can get all those updates. Yeah, so if you have clients in the EU, um, they don't have access to Threads. Um, but if they are in the UK, that's not part of the EU because if you remember Brexit, um, so UK customers do have that, but not the EU members as, as yet. Yeah, it's definitely one to keep an eye out for. And also following Threads app as well is great because there's new updates literally every day. It's just like so much is happening. So really good to follow for any updates. And I'll pass it over to Joe for this. Yeah, so it is available in the UK, but not in the EU. And the UK is not part of the EU. They're part of Europe, but not part of the European Union. So just a little bit of a slight difference. Okay, let's get into the Fediverse. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but Adam Mosseri, the CEO of Instagram, talks about the Fediverse. Uh, this is part of this whole multiverse thing that they want Threads to be part of. So when they're building Threads, um, they are building it so that it's compatible with this protocol or this way of working called ActivityPub, which I'll explain later. But this essentially allows Threads to um, work with other social networks. So if you think about Mastodon or any decentralized network, you can be on Threads, but follow people on Mastodon or another social network. It's kind of crazy, but basically it's like a multiverse version of uh, social media. So you don't need a Mastodon account, for example, to interact with someone for threats, right, with this protocol. So the idea here is that not only are you be, you are able to be part of threats, you have more control over your data, and you'll be able to take your data with you, your audience with you, if you if you switch uh, switch platforms. So that's the entire idea. So you move over to the next slide, uh, please. Yes. Yeah. All right. So this is what he mentioned, Adam Mosseri here. Um, he says he wants to, they want to integrate into this protocol so that you'll be able to take your followers with you should you choose so in the future. So this whole part of this transparency movement that Instagram is trying to, uh, and Meta is trying to be better at, uh, allowing you to own your data instead of them owning it. We'll see how it works out because Meta obviously doesn't have the best reputation with data. And this is one of the new progressive steps they're, they're taking. So in the next slide, I'll show you what you can expect with the Fediverse. So... Think about the different circles there being different social media networks. So Threads is part of it. And then if you look at the blue line there, it says Activity Pub. So that's basically the agreement that the different social networks have with one another in terms of how they're going to interact with one another. So they're saying that, you know, all of us agree that we're going to work on this thing called the Activity Pub. So this is a standard and you're going to have your version of retweet. I'm going to call it repost. Someone can say rethread, right? But it's all the same thing, and you have likes, we have comments, and so the really, um, uh, really interesting thing is that you can be in threads and still be part of the Macedon universe. So if you guys are part of the MCU or any of these superhero movies, it's kind of like that. You're in social media, but you're in a multiverse, uh, which is really interesting. I don't know how this is going to work out because as social media managers in the future. Will be in threads, but you'll still be able to manage people in Macedon. So your audience over there or interact and follow people over there or other decentralized networks. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to play out. But that's basically what they're doing. They're laying the groundwork for this. And that's also a reason why threads exist as a separate app and not part of Instagram, although they're basically almost yeah, basically the same company, right? So basically, I was thinking about this, which is the next slide. In the future, we're going to be like Spider-Man in a multi-universe. So the multiverse is coming for us as well. We're not spared for it. So if you think about the Fediverse, that's basically what it is. Another analogy to just get your head wrapped around it is that is email. Email is a good example as well. Um, I'm on Gmail. You could be on Outlook, but we can still talk to each other because Gmail, Outlook, they're using the same protocols, right? So you can have your own app, but we all have, you know, SAN, BCC, CC, they all agree on the same standard. And so think about that when you know you are able to use threads and you're able to contact someone from the other side as well because they're using the same language. So I hope that sort of like give a good explanation. So if you have to explain that to your clients or your team, 
just tell them it's kind of like Spider-Man, or you can say it's kind of like email, maybe. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions around the Fediverse. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I feel like listening to all that, like my brain was like kind of exploding. I was like, because yeah, I, I, a lot of people in the chat were like, oh, I've never heard of that. And I've never heard of that either. So very, very interesting. <laughs> Victoria, uh, social media manager across the Fediverse. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is funny. <laughs> Yeah, the chat, the chat is very funny today. I've been loving a lot of the responses in there, so keep it up. Um, but now we'll get into breaking down threads. So if you are new to the app, if you wanna have the app open and kind of follow along with me, we can kind of try this together. So we'll get into it here. Um, so some features that are there at the moment, and I say at the moment because it's changing every day, but right now, um, in threads, the character limit is 500 characters. Um, and the app also supports links. Um, you can add up to 10 photos. And actually, if you click on a carousel of photos and you swipe um, through all the photos, they're kind of, they're like connected. That's probably not the best way. It's like seamless when you look at the mm -hmm. um, photos. So I hope that was the right way to explain that. But you get what I mean, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can have videos up to five minutes and there are gifts. So one thing I will say about that though, is that when you're in threads making your thread, um, there's no GIF icon where you can add one. You have to upload this um, GIF yourself. So just a little side point there. Yeah, you can go to Jiffy and download it and upload. Also, yeah. do you say GIF or GIF? Yeah. I still say GIF. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm I still GIF. team I GIF. Know. <laughs> uh, but I know there's a lot of passionate givers out there. <laughs> I know. I, I kind of switch between it. I don't know. But yeah, let us know your thoughts. Um, you can also, uh, within the app, you can start a thread. You can share a thread. So you can copy a link to a thread. You can add it to your Instagram story, which I've been seeing a lot. And you can post uh, the thread to your Instagram feed as well, which is really cool. Um, you can also repost a thread. So if there's one you think is super funny, you can repost it and you can reply to a thread. So, um, but something to know is that you may not be able to see all of the replies and we'll kind of get into private accounts and public accounts in a little bit. But if someone replied to your thread that you don't follow and they have a private account, you won't be able to see uh, their response. So just something there. All right, so if you have a phone out, you can follow along with me or you can look at the screen here. So this is what you're going to see when you open the Threads app. So you'll see your feed, which currently is a mix of people you follow and also recommended content. So it's kind of like on Instagram, the main feed that has a little mix of everything. Um, so that is what you'll see right when you open it. And then on the bottom, you'll have some options as well. So you have the home button, which is this screen here. You have the search button. You can compose your thread, activity, and profile. So we'll get into each one of these sections now. All right, so first we'll go to search. So if you go to search on threads, um, currently you can only search other users. So you can search a topic. So if I wanted to search Hey Orca on threads, it's just gonna show the Hey Orca threads account. It won't show um, conversation that's happening around Hey Orca. So I believe that's gonna be an update in the future, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So right now with the search bar, you can only really search for users. Next, we'll go to the Compose tab. So this is the middle icon on the app. Um, so let's just say I wanna make a thread. So again, you have up to 500 characters. You can write up to 500 there. You can add your photo or video. And then um, near the bottom there, you'll see that you can add more threads um, to your post. And then in the next screenshot here, something to note that I actually didn't notice at first um, when you're making your threads, it will say anyone can reply. So if you select that, um, you then have the option to make it so anyone can reply, um, only profiles you follow can reply, or only mentions. Uh, so that is cool. Did not notice that when I was first playing around with the app. 
And now we'll head over to the activity. So activity, um, there's a couple different tabs. So you have your all tab, replies, mentions, and verified. So if you wanna see everything all together, you can just always keep it on the all tab and you'll see all your different notifications there, but it's nice you can kind of split it out into replies and mentions so that everything's not all in one spot. So activity is essentially notifications. And now we'll check out the profile. So, and I'm not sure if I've missed any questions in the chat or not. I know there's quite, oh, we're good. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll highlight the profile next. So as you can see here, and I'm even gonna get it up on my phone. Um, so on the left side of your profile, you'll see this like globe icon. That's where you can edit your privacy settings, which we will get into in a second. Um, then you'll see the Instagram logo. So that's where you can switch to your Instagram account. And then the, uh, the little lines as well in the right-hand corner, that's where you can go to your account settings. So it, the look is very similar to Instagram, which is nice because I feel like I feel like I know how to use it already because it's very similar to Instagram. Yeah, we just have a couple of questions here. Uh, Tiffany asks, asks uh, does threats have analytics yet? Uh, short answer, no. Um, but people are using basically shortening their links on their bio to try to track that, uh, you know, the traffic as well. Yeah. So no analytics at the moment. And do you need to post an IG when you post onto threads? Uh, no, uh, threads is its own thing, but you do need an IG profile to get into yeah. threads. So a little bit confusing there, but you need to be a Instagram user before you can be a threads user. Perfect. And just a couple other things on the profile. Um, your threads will pop up right on your profile. And then at the bottom is your navigation bar. So very similar to Instagram, which is great because it feels familiar already. Um, I see some questions about privacy settings. So we'll go into that now. Um, so when you click that globe icon on your profile, it will be brought here. So um, in your privacy and visibility settings, you are able to manage who can mention you on threads. You can mute or unmute anyone. Um, you can restrict or unrestrict someone's threads. Uh, you can hide replies you don't wanna see and you can hide the like count on your post, kind of like Instagram does as well. So you could definitely edit some of those privacy settings so that your profile is exactly how you want it to be. Um, and then we'll get into some profile settings. So there's a lot of different settings, so I won't go over every single one. But what I will say is we're going to be highlighting some different areas of threads in our newsletter over the next little bit. So if you want to kind of stay in the loop on that and um, get all of this information to your email, I'll put the link in the chat for that. So if you want more of a deep dive, we will be exploring it more there. Um, but something that can be confusing is um, what is relevant for public profiles and what's relevant for private. Um, so Threads does have a help doc and I do have it here. So I'll put it in the chat if you want to look at this more in depth. So it breaks everything down and breaks it into public profile and private. So if you have any questions around that, definitely check out the link I just put in the chat because it can get a bit confusing. And then this chart is really helpful, especially because it's kind of confusing that Instagram and threads are connected. Um, so if you wanna know what app um, is affected with certain things, this is the place to go. So that help doc I just put in the chat will also show you this as well. But as you can see here with push notifications, if you manage it in threads, it will only affect threads. But then if you mute profiles, that's going to affect threads and Instagram both. Um, so definitely worth taking a look at this chart and just seeing what is affected and what settings affect both your apps. Uh, Leslie has a really interesting question. So yeah. can you set up a different name on threads from your Instagram profile? Um, I think you can. I you think can. I could see that in their help profile. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. we'll have to get the community's help on that because, you know, obviously when we set it up, um, you know, I just went with what we had. Yep. Yeah, I believe you can change your photo and your name if you'd like. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Um, a few other things that are both Instagram and threads would be hidden words and light count. Um, but then on Instagram, that sensitive content that you have there, it also will travel over to threads. So there's a lot that kind of overlap there. And some more here. And I saw in the chat, there's a few questions about data and privacy. So we'll hit on that right now. Um, so something to mention, I did see this in the chat as well, is um, if you want to fully delete your Threads account, you do have to delete your Instagram account, um, but you can deactivate your Threads account and still have an Instagram account. So if you wanted that fully deleted, gone, gone forever, can't reactivate it, both would have to be deleted. But if you just want to deactivate Threads, you can still have Instagram. So a little confusing, but um if you don't want threads anymore i would just deactivate don't actually fully delete and then uh data from your instagram account that's used for threads include your login information um, instagram account id name username uh, profile information your followers accounts you follow your age um, and you can definitely get into more detail with the data and privacy. Um, it's probably here in the help document. I'll resend it in the chat. You can get more details there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very comprehensive. So definitely yeah. take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, their help document is great. Um, has a lot of really good information there. So definitely check that out. Um, and to mention, uh, you can download your data from Threads. So to do that, you go to your profile and go to the account settings, which is in the top right, and then you'll be able to download your data if you're looking to do that. All right, and I can pass it over to Joe, who's going to highlight a few updates for the future. Awesome. Um, just want to take a couple questions here. Um, Diana's question, is it possible to toggle between multiple threads account like you can on IG? So short answer, no. Do You do have to log in and out to go through um, that. So that's not like a seamless way in threads. So you do have to, you know, go to another IG account and then log out of that threads account and go, go to another one. So that's how it is uh, for now. Um, this would be a question for the community as well. I'm also really interested about the question by Katie. As a marketer, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out the selling point. Like if a client asks why they should or shouldn't use threats, I don't have an answer or there's nothing new or, or exciting that I see. So this is my take on it. Number one, it's basically an extension of your Instagram um, audience. So really the great thing about threats is that you're not starting from zero. If you, any of you are TikTokers, you know what I'm talking about. If you start on TikTok with zero, it's actually really hard now to try to grow an audience. Uh, I've tried to do multiple TikTok dances and it's still not working. Um, so with threads, at least you're starting with uh, a community, right? So that's the one thing. The other one is a bet, a bet that this is going to work out. So by the time if this takes off, you're actually going to benefit from all the organic engagement that you're getting. So I find personally that there's a lot more engagement on threats just because it's so new and the organic algorithm are very friendly. And it's just a matter of time before you see ads on threats again. Um, and so and then it'll be hard. So I think it's about also a fresh start as well. So if your audience or if your client is, um, if your format or your brand is threats friendly, I think that's really great as well. So at the very least, I would try to just get a presence going because you're importing your audience over to threats anyways. And so you're not starting from zero and it could be a low effort investment right now that could pay off in the future. You don't want to be, you know, going there in the future and have no audience. Right. So that would be what I said, uh, I would say. But like I love to get the community's take on that. All right. So. Future updates for Threads. So this is the uh, official line from the Threads app. Um, they are going to help you build a better, uh, better, uh, more personalized feed. Right now, you're only um, seeing people that you're following, but also content that Threads actually put on your feed. So sometimes you see people that you don't recognize. That's because Threads is actually putting, uh, using the algorithm to softly put a few people into your feed. And so they're making some improvements there. And also they're helping you uh, search as well. Right now you can only do user search, but in the future you'll be able to search topics and trends just like you would on Twitter or Instagram. All right. 
And the next thing that we see from Adam Mosseri, this was yesterday or、well, two days ago.、Um, so he mentioned that right now they're actually focused on fixing bugs.、Um, and there are a lot of obvious missing features, like a falling feed, an edit button, and a post search. And they're working on those things. So those are some of the updates that he mentioned right there. And just a couple things, I think, related to Katie's question. So, how do I get started on Thread? So, first of all, just know that your audience would be very similar to your audience in Instagram. So, that's really great.、Uh, when you start on Threads, you'll start with a pretty good audience size.、Uh, some people have been repurposing the successful、uh, tweets. So, if you look at Netflix, they actually took、um, the Twitter,、um, Twitter content and repost that to Threads. Again, It's very similar, similar to Twitter. So, if you have any text based tweets that did really well, maybe a good idea to repost that in threads just to test the waters as, as well.、Um, the other thing from、um, uh, this account, the two Lauras, they're really great to follow. If you're running a social media agency, definitely give them a follow. But there are a couple of things that they、uh, advise is that short and dirty content is kind of like the uh, being authentic on threads, it's just being short, you know, authentic. Seems to work really well. And people are w a n t to see more raw content versus like more polished content in、uh, Instagram, right? And then lastly, just a reminder if you are running an agency,、um, make sure that you resize your images. So making sure that they are actually legible because the squares in threads are actually a little bit smaller. If you are a Hayworker user, you can just use the threads placeholder and we'll show you what it's going to look like on mobile. Uh, before you decide to post it. The other thing with alt text as well,、um, you can add alt text to your captions right now, which is in threads, but alt text is not supported yet in threads、um, on the image. So if you want to、uh, make it accessible,、uh, make sure to put it in your caption and then always charge for the extra work. Even though it's just maybe dipping your toes into threads, that still works. So don't forget to charge. For that extra work, if you are going to be investing in this for your clients. So, just a couple of reminders that I thought was really good that I think we all can learn from here. Cool. Thanks, Joe. That was perfect timing. We have a few minutes left, and I know that that was a lot of information. So, again, stay tuned. We'll definitely make sure that everyone is updated on any changes that are made in threads. Any new features, we'll definitely do another webinar and go over it in the future. So stay tuned for that. We'll all learn together.、Um, and it's time to do our giveaways. So before I pass it over to Joe, I am going to link out. We do have a webinar, sur webinar survey. So if you really liked this webinar and this topic, let us know. And if you have any other topic suggestions, Um, we love hearing them, so definitely put that in the comments there. And I will now pass it to Joe for the giveaways. Awesome, thanks so much. I'm also going to put in our webinars、uh, page. So, h e r o k c o m slash webinars if you are you know, wanting to see what's the latest webinars that we have.、Um, it's always updated here. So, we'll be、uh, refreshing this for Q3 and Q4. So, if you want to know and see more things, Let us know.、Um, but threads is definitely one thing that we would like to revisit at the end of maybe Q3 and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to do my random draw before we hit, the, hit time. So I'm going to start with I'm gonna start with the Amazon card. So let me just pick the names here. All right, so the winner of the Amazon card is Hannah Conduit. Hannah, congratulations. I know it's past Prime Day, but I think you can still get yourself something nice from Amazon. And for Hey Orca customers, I am going to pick a name、uh, right now. If you are a Hey Orca customer,、uh, let me know in the chat. I'll give you 10 seconds so I can put more names into、uh, my bucket here. Let me know. And I'm going to start picking and,、uh, in a bit. Rachel, yeah. Hey, Rachel. So, Rachel did a webinar with us.、Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Katie,、Kelly. Jennifer. So many familiar names. I love it. Christine, I got, Rachel. I got most of you in there. Coral. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I see a repeat names there. But、um, the 
winner of the uh, the Hayworkers swag is Roxanne. Roxanne, is Roxanne here? If not, I'll continue. Yes, I believe Roxanne is here. Roxanne, are you here? Let us know. Oh, yeah, she's here. Awesome. And I know you mentioned you just joined the pod, so welcome. I hope this will be a great welcome gift to you. So we'll be reaching out and get your address, and we'll be shipping uh, it over. Noel, uh, she's not a customer, but a fan. Uh, so we, we, we hope that you'll join us soon, join the pod soon. And But thanks so much for joining uh, our the webinars. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Congratulations to our we our winners. And just a reminder, there is no webinar next week, but there will be one in two weeks. And we'll be going over all of the latest updates in social from July. So we will see you in two weeks. Thank right, you so much. Thanks so much, guys. And we'll Bye. be sending this recording out next week. Yes. Yep, it'll probably go tomorrow. It takes usually a day to process, but then it will be out. So keep an eye out for that. All right, cool. thanks so much, Kara. Thanks, guys. See you guys hey, in the next Bye. Bye. Bye.